Attention! Although my content is usually family-friendly and suitable for all ages, Phoenix Wright Justice for All is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB content rating system, and as such, the videos in this Let's Play may contain blood, mild violence, and or suggestive themes. So, viewer discretion is advised. I have been thinking about it, and I have realized that there are only three good clowns to ever appear in anything ever. Uh, Mo the Clown from this game, Pickles the Clown from Arthur, and the Clown with the Tearaway from oh, Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> that's pretty much it, and that's a weird introduction to Phoenix Wright hey, Justice for I All. I almost everyone. started. I didn't know if you were going to start, but I was literally just going to chop with start with like chop, chop, chop. How about, about some magic beans? beans? <laughs> that would be weirder. I, well, maybe that maybe. doesn't have anything to do with this trial. I know. So we're cross-examining Ben more today, where he was going to propose. What? <laughs> we got a question about him on this, oh, obviously. What? By proposal, you mean proposing marriage, correct? To Regina. Of course that's what I meant! What kind of stupid question is that? I wasn't gonna propose that we become some sort of outlaw biker gang together! Uh, that'd be cool. Right, Ben? Yeah. Got it? That's the truth! <laughs> that would've been a way cooler <laughs> proposal. Yeah, it would've been. That's something to give That's slightly less creepy. What was it exactly that you planned on giving her? You know exactly what I was going to give her, numbskull?! The only thing I could find that could match Regina's beauty! A tiger! <laughs> <laughs> Answer the his question. What was it? You're gonna die when you hear this! It's an engagement ring! Oh, I was gonna guess tickets to Unicornocopia. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> it's got a star! That means it's, it's good! good. <laughs> an engagement ring! Wow, those two nearly fell out of their chairs. <laughs> Von Karma don't have no chair. There are no chairs at the prosecutor's no. bench. Mr. Phoenix Wright's joke has gone too far! Time for this to end right here. Francisca's whip looks like it's about to lash out at almost anything. One hit from that thing will probably shut someone up for a long time. Pain equals bad. Push on anyways. <laughs> you got to push on. I think I'm gonna live to fight another day and shut up now. Nick! Don't be such a coward! <laughs> Pain equals bad is a great choice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it may be something of a joke, but this is a historic moment! The first time that a puppet has ever proposed to a human being- no! <laughs> I advise you to cut this argument short. I'm going to have to agree with the defense here. Will the witness please revise their testimony? Specifically about the engagement, Green. I'd like to stick to facts, not sociology. You sure do enjoy sweating the details, especially for a man in a black bathrobe! <laughs> Plan on giving an engagement ring. <laughs> an engagement ring. Aha! Uh -huh, it's actually a diamond shaped stone cut from glass! It's even more brilliant than the real fate! I think Regina's going to love it! It's just a ring. What's the matter, Nick? Well, there's gotta be something I can catch him on. Glass. Okay. Kept him in my pocket. So he just has freaking glass in his pocket. <laughs> Whose pocket was the rain in? Mine, of course! What a stupid question! You've gotta be kidding me! You think Ben could pull that off? Uh, I'm sorry, really. You don't have to apologize for that! He's the one who should be apologizing! <laughs> Man, he'd be an impressive opponent in Punch Out. Agreed. Really? Nintendo, I know there's Smash Brothers coming out. Here's your next character. No, I, if I'm getting a Ace Attorney character, I, know. I don't want Trebo. I want I know. Phoenix. I know. Or... My, it would be cool. <laughs> well, I mean, Phoenix, right, is and in Toys. Marvel vs. Capcom, which is, like, a kind of different fighting game. fighting game. And a lot of his moves are summoning Maya to do stuff, which is interesting. Yo, Maya, can you do this for me? Sure! <laughs> so you went to the lodging house to give it to her? That's right! I tried to give it to her during practice so many times that I lost count, but that uppity snob kept getting in my way! Uppity snob? <laughs> uppity snob? He couldn't possibly be talking about me, Maximilian Galactica! When I get a hold of him, I'm gonna saw his wood block in half and not with magic! <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> well, they always say that love creates rivalries. <laughs> <laughs> Phoenix is basically like, well, what she you gonna, gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> so, what about this present? Oh, they're just gonna overlook Max, like, threatening the witness. 
In the end, I still wasn't able to give it to her. It's a puppet. That's part of it. It's not alive. That's true. It better not be alive. <laughs> so, you were still trying, thinking of trying to give it to Regina? I could see this going with like a, Oh, hey, what if we make this puppet and give it like AI and intelligence and a heart and like... <laughs> He's a pull man. Pinocchio. Pull no, Pinocchio, let's like, not go anywhere real... near that. No, but I'm saying <laughs> I could totally see them being like, Oh, it's a real person and like... Ben's He's just, just being, dressed. He like, just has weird makeup on. Of course I am. I spent four months' salary on this fan. I'm not gonna give up that easily. Hmm. I wonder how much he receives for appearing in the circus. Probably way more than he deserves. How about it, Nick? I think it's about time to unwrap this toy's testimony. That's the spirit, Nick. Give him heck. <laughs> uh oh. The judge has that dazed look again. Maybe he should get out more. <laughs> Okay, do you know what's up with the testimony? Um, glass ring, which is weird. Kept it in the Trilo's pot. pocket. Yep. And he tried to present it to her during the day, but Maximilian <laughs> got in the way. And <laughs> Regina seems to just think, like, nothing of Tree, uh, ben. ben. She's like, oh, I guess Ben's a guy who exists. <laughs> yeah, kind of. So I'm just trying to think about these. Still got it in the pocket. Okay. I just realized Trilo is reminding me a bit of like the Charlie McCoffey puppets from Fun and Fancy. Films. Oh yeah, <laughs> completely. Except less creepy. Yeah, less Those creepy. Those things are terrifying. Um, yeah, is that the last one? Yeah. Dang it! Oh, do you know what statement we need to press on? I think multiple ones actually work. Oh. I think. I think that one works, and also this one works. Okay. Uh, let's look at our evidence then. Maybe, maybe there's something. I will submit the evidence. All right, attorney's badge, no. Magatama, probably no. not. Crime photo, the guy dead over the pepper box. So cat, Max left it at the scene. Supposedly, uh, Max got a, a huge, huge raise. Wicked Rubio. Okay. Max has free symbols. Let me see. Hi, I'm special. <laughs> no, okay, he's wearing gloves. Okay, uh. The broken bottle. Orange juice bottle. The circus map. Uh, sure, check. Waiting all the way in the lodge house. I'm surprised you didn't wait outside. He's, the he was waiting house. like right here, oh, near the yeah, doors. Oh yeah, that's right. Okay. Because if because that's where the murder happened, and he didn't actually see the murder, he okay. just saw the guy going okay, towards so the murder. Act. Money the monkey. <laughs> oh, how did the monkey not steal it? Is that it? Uh, no. <laughs> oh, but he likes shiny objects. Yeah, okay. but he's not everywhere at once. Some, well, I feel like okay, cheap ring. <laughs> From T to R, we have it. <laughs> yeah, that's probably the one. I just realized we had that in our... Uh... Yeah. Trilo, do you mind if I show you something? What is it? What are you talking about? Uh-oh. Looks like they're going to double-team me now. Do you recognize this rain? Ah! That's... That's... That's mine! Get it back! Thief! Thief! Didn't you just testify about this very object? I believe you said, in the end, I wasn't able to give it to her, so I've still got it in my pocket. Why then do I have it right here? Bug! Okay. Yeah. What is... We got it from the monkey, right? The monkey was yeah, like, the monkey oh, brought oh, it to oh, his oh, pile. I have stuff. this thing! What is going on here? That's. That's. Ben, say something! Huh? Don't put me on the spot like that, Trilo! I found this in Money's room. M -m money's room? You mean like a room where they put money, like a bank vault? Ha! Ah, that filthy monkey's gonna get what's coming to him! Mr. Quist, I would prefer if you avoided slandering innocent fiats in my court. Fiats. <laughs> well, Your Honor, Money really is a monkey, in every sense of the word. Ah, I see. Well then. Money likes to go after the shiniest things that he can find and gather them up. Shiny things? Trilo, when was this rain stolen from you? Well, I suppose it was that time. You know, that night. The night of the crime. What did you just say? Details. I need more details. Well, it was stolen right after Max showed up in the plaza. Right about when you saw the defendant walk past, correct? Well, um, I guess you might, um, be able to say that. The ring might have, well, it could have been taken around that time. 
No! No! Oh. I feel like this character is much better if you consider them to actually be two different people, though. Yeah, it is. Ben, what's with you? No, oh, whatever. It has nothing to do with anything, especially not who committed the murder. It's not for you to decide what has to do with what. Now, Trilo, back to the topic at hand. I haven't admitted a thing! Not I, Mr. Trilo Quiz! What did you do when the ring was taken, Trilo? You know exactly what I did! I chased after that ring snatching money monkey! <laughs> but you weren't able to catch up with him, were you? It's all this small, wealthy fool I called Ben's fault! While he was fumbling his way for the snow, that dumb monkey was able to get away! That is indeed an incredible shame. Well, this does indeed prove one very important point. Prove an important point? What point could that possibly be? Ben doesn't exercise enough. Ben's testimony has a flaw. <laughs> I like both of these, so just do whatever. <laughs> Obviously that one Mr. Benjamin Woodman is lacking in the area of exercise. This is clear from the testimony we have just listened to. He was too slow and awkward to catch a monkey fleeing through the snow. This revelation doesn't seem to be registering too well around the courtroom. Maybe you should leave the courtroom drama for video games and rethink that one. <laughs> oh my, I love your fourth wall breaking. Um, okay. <laughs> that was this too good. <laughs> <proof wonder. laughs> that was too good not to do. There is a huge contradiction in this witness's testimony. Contradiction? The witness just testified to the following effect. Up until the police arrived, he didn't move from the entrance to the plaza. However, the witness has just stated that he chased after Money the monkey. When the witness was off chasing Money, there was no one watching the plaza. What is the meaning of all this, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Where are you going with this little theory of yours? I'm saying that there is no possible way that this witness saw the plaza the entire time. That's where I'm going with this little theory, which leads me to my next point. It is entirely possible that someone other than the defendant was at the scene. Interesting, Mr. Wright. Well then tell me this, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Do you have any proof that something slipped past the village ventriloquist? Well, he obviously didn't see the victim, the Rainmaster, arrive on the scene. However, that doesn't change the fact that he saw the defendant arrive. The witness is lying. He's blinded by his rivalry with Max. Well, the defense's argument does hold water. This witness does have a history of animosity towards the defendant. What? How dare you? I would lie just to get that dork face in trouble. He's not even worth it. I saw him. No doubt about it. I saw that worthless liar. Well, just for clarity's sake, let's flesh out exactly who you saw on that night. Ha! I told you so many times you'd think you'd know my story's not changing! You've already changed your story, stick boy, and I'm sure it will change some more. When there's one lie, there's usually many more behind it. Exactly, Maya. That's why we have to keep after him. Yeah! Also, fun fact, this was the first testimony I ever saw from this series when I was watching Wink play it when he was oh, doing it. Oh, okay. So you're just like, what the heck is this? <laughs> yeah, basically. I'll give you that I was watching that night for Regina, but that doesn't change the fact that I saw Max in the plaza that night. He showed up after I'd been waiting there for about five minutes. I said good evening to him, but he didn't even acknowledge my presence. I'm absolutely sure it was him. I saw Maximilian Galactica at the scene. There's no way I could mistake someone wearing those free ridiculous symbols. That was literally most voice just then. Yeah, it was. <laughs> hmm. Sorry, I'm getting warmed up. So that means that money didn't show up till after you saw Max? That's right! Money ran up less than a minute after I saw Max! Then money snatched the ring and you went chasing after him? How long was it until you came back to where you were waiting? Well, let's see, I'd say about... I suppose five minutes, I think. So the victim could have arrived at the scene in that five minute stretch. Mr. Wright, please proceed with your cross-examination. I'm gonna ask you to do Trilo's voice for a bit again, because I don't want to throw my voice out before Mo arrives on the All stand. Alright, I'll do it. Alright, he was waiting for Regina. So you were only concerned with waiting for Regina that night? 
That means you probably wouldn't have noticed if someone else showed up. You should know about how many eyes I actually have! I got four, you know! Four! F-O-U-R! Counting Ben, of course! With that many eyes, do you really think something would have slipped past me? Four eyes is an awful lot of attention directed at one area, I suppose. Two of them are- Yikes! The judge is even more dangerous to our case than Trio! <laughs> Doesn't change the fact I saw Max. Okay. So you saw Max coming out of the big top that night? Of course that's where I saw him coming from! I was staring at the entrance to the tent the entire time! I guess that makes sense, especially since he was waiting for Regina. Blah, 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 hold it! <laughs> Good timing. About what time would you say these events took place? surgeon to know around what time it was when I saw him. Just add ten more minutes. I'm sure you can do that now. What time was it? Indeed. What time was it? Hmm. What time was it? <laughs> Let me think about that for a second. Yo! I'm not gonna laugh! <laughs> it was 10, 10 p.m. Ah, uh, yes. That sounds about right. I feel like you need to be good at math if you're a lawyer. <laughs> That's not hard math! You're at 10! To a whole lot I know. of number! It's so I know. freaking easy. <laughs> Sounds about right, because that's the time that I saw Max on the scene! Is that so? I said good evening to him, but he wouldn't even acknowledge my PRESENCE! <laughs> Speaking of presents, how do you like how I said hold it? So you testified that you said good evening to Max that night. You must enjoy asking incredibly obvious questions! You said good morning in the morning, and good afternoon during the day, right? And it's obvious that I'd say good night to someone at night! You said good evening at night! Oh, uh, I'm sorry, Trevo. Mr. Quist, I would prefer if you kept your ventriloquist act outside of the courtroom. Impossible! A performer lives and breathes his performances! You should know better! That's actually very true. Uh, performer, there's gotta be something wrong with this bit of testimony. As a performer myself, I must say. <laughs> um, <laughs> Nothing especially Trevo's evening greeting Ben's half of the comedy act. <laughs> ben sucks at comedy! <laughs> I hate to say it, but Ben's part of your little act is becoming coming off a little bit stale. I'm sure that if a pro was to review your work, he would- OW! You're not trying to pass yourself off as a professional performer, are you? Don't get so wrapped up in yourself, Mr. Phoenix Wright! You should know better! OW! 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 THAT HURTS! That should have set him straight. You may proceed with your testimony, witness. I should have done it in timing, but I thought <laughs> no, it was insane stuff. I'm absolutely sure I saw him! You are 100% absolutely sure of what you just said? Absolutely! <laughs> <laughs> I told you already! Jeez! I'm absolutely 100% sure! There's no way that he could be any more confident than that, right? There's no way I could mistake someone wearing those three ridiculous symbols! Oh boy. <laughs> Those free ridiculous symbols, huh? Out of curiosity, exactly, how many times have you asked this question by now? If you're going to ask again, I'll answer with a chorus. Everyone together now! So hot! Cloak! White roses! <laughs> Thank you very much. Maya, you didn't have to join in, did you? <laughs> but it's fun showing that with everyone else. There has to be a hole in his testimony somewhere. I agree, but do we have the proof to make something stick? All we can do is try, right, Nick? We've gotta have something that will prove useful. Alright, time to go to work. Also, we never did all these other ones. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I guess it's kind of petty to badmouth someone's performances. I think so, too. I guess you really are right all the time. Glad to see you finally coming around to that. <laughs> Continue with the cross-examination, please. Okay. It's a good- no offense, it's a good thing you're not doing Moe's voice. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that yeah. a bit strange to you? What do you mean? Well, if you hate Max so much, why would you bother being nice to him? It strikes me as somewhat strange. Why would you 
it strike you as strange? Exactly. How is it strange to be cordial to one of your co-workers? Cordial. Cordial. I can't talk. That's fine. Well, if it was simply just being cordial to a co-worker, I would understand. What does that even mean? Ow! I've never heard that before. Cordial basically means just, like, decent. Normal, decent, okay. Never even heard of it before, so there you go. Like, not actively being a jerk, but not necessarily being nice, either. See? Just, like... You guys prob... Maybe you didn't. You guys <laughs> might have learned something new today. <laughs> Maybe you should think of having some proof before your lips start flapping next time. Proof is everything in this world. You should have learned that back in grade school. There's no reason that Trilo would ever say something nice to Max. But how do I go about proving that with evidence? Bluffing is everything in this world! But I'm sure you already learned that one. I guess I can give it a shot. The witness will resume his testimony. I'm trying to imagine Maya, like, shouting in the middle of the courtroom, like, Bluffing! It's the most important thing! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, do you know where it is? is they it they hinted at that one. Said good evening to him? Yeah. He didn't acknowledge my presence. I mean, he was mad at him. Hit him on the head with a bottle. Yeah, that seems a little out of character, doesn't it? Objection! Also, I'm gonna resume the voice if that's right. Okay, sure, go for it. Trilo, is it not true that you had a fight with Max on the day of the murder? A fight? A fight over Regina, to be exact. It wasn't that big of a deal! It was just an argument! A disagreement at most! A disagreement usually doesn't end with someone getting conked over the head. Ah! That morning, Ben got clobbered over the head by Max, didn't he? W what Is that an admission of assault and battery? Ouch! Before we handle that, we should wrap up the defendant's murder charge first. The truth is that on the day of the crime, the defendant and witness had a huge fight. There's absolutely no way they would have suddenly become cordial that evening. Moreover, just consider the personality of the witness on the stand. There's no way a puppet this lewd would just up and say good evening to his rival. Are you saying this witness is lying? That he's trying to frame the defendant by claiming to have seen him at the crime scene? I, 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 I didn't tell a single lie! Honestly, I just... <laughs> That's enough from you, Mr. Quist. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor? Let's clarify this testimony for the court. Could you explain your theory about who the witness actually saw that night? He didn't see anyone, he saw the defendant, or he saw a different person. Um... So right now, your theory is that Mo was the one who went to the room with... That's my theory. But that's the thing, because Trilo went with Mo to the lodging yeah. house. So are you saying that the Mo he went with was not actually Mo? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I don't know. I don't know. You think that Mo and the Remaster essentially swapped places? Yeah. Well, they're both, no offense, kind of short and fat from what I could tell. No, so they you. could swap. They could. One would just shave his mustache. And but the other would put on him fake mustache. Right. Or, I don't know. All right. Well, so here's the thing. At the circus that night that we know of, at the big top practicing were Mo, mm -hmm. Regina, Max, the Ringmaster, and then Ben and Trilo. For whatever reason, Acro Man is not. Acro did not go to that meeting. And what, what the heck? He he's not there at all. Which is making me extremely suspicious. Like Vasquez, where it's like, oh, Vasquez wasn't there for two days. Oh, she did everything. <laughs> you know what I mean? So yeah. it may be him. Could be him. Could be him. And we and don't have, we don't really gone. have any obvious suspects Second right thing, now. Second thing. And this is, like, probably not the case because they already have an autopsy report probably confirming that it is Russell. What if Mr. Ackroll Man has been killed? Oh. Either was killed... Uh, the autopsy has confirmed that right, the dead body that was Russell. the dead body was Russell. Are you saying However, it could be a double murder? It could be a double murder. That's what I was saying. Mm. Interesting theory. All right, so... I mean, so we had a double murder last are you, time, though. Do you want... Which one do you want to know? I mean, obviously I'm going to do all the wrong ones, but I, I'm right. curious to know which one you want to The speak one of. that I think it is, is he saw a different person. Okay. And that is the correct one. Okay. That's what I thought. Of course, the witness did not see a soul that night. I see. Who, who do you think you are to just up and decide what it is I saw that night? A fool can only understand a foolish foolery uttered by the most foolish of fools. This witness didn't see anyone. You wouldn't happen to have proof to back up that statement, would you? <laughs> Nick, I just thought of something. 
if Ben and Trilo really didn't see anyone that night, they wouldn't they wouldn't have testified that they greeted someone that night, would they? What, what do you mean? I think that Trilo really did say good evening to someone that night. But Trilo and Max, they were in the middle of a huge fight. Maybe you should think this over some more on your own time, Mr. Wright. Let's clarify this testimony for the court. So here's my fan. If he didn't see anyone, he could have lied about seeing Max, because he hates Max and wants him to take a fall. Right. But apparently they don't know that. Of course he saw the defendant! How could he miss Maximilian Galactica? Ow! <laughs> you said that Trilo would have no reason to greet Max if they had met that night. You said that, did you not, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Ah. Ah is not the correct answer! Mr. Wright, I'm afraid that ah has just landed the defensive penalty. Foiled again. Nick, you've got to think about things a little bit more and give it a shot. Yeah, I know. And by the looks of things, I've got to hurry up. It is my belief that the, the witness did indeed see someone that night. It was just someone else. That's who he said good evening to. What kind of theory is that? The correct one. Furthermore, I don't believe the person that witness saw was Max at all. W what? If he had truly met Max that night, there would have been no greeting at all. Which means there is only one proper answer. The person the witness saw that night was not Maximilian Galactica. That is why Trimo made the effort to greet whoever it was that he saw that evening. Or good evening, as he put it. Ah! What in the world? You... Would the defense kindly explain who it was that Trevo saw that evening, then? Alright. Who of these eight people? 